I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore, and I know too much to go back and pretend, cause I've heard it all before, and I've been down there on the floor, no one's ever gonna keep me down again, oh yes I'm wise, but it's wisdom gonna pay, if I pay the price, look how much I've gained. If I have to, I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. Yes, today I am woman. Oh, and I'm proud of my breasts. I am. I mean, I wish I had baloney nipples, but. I am proud, and today I am showing what a proud woman I am. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you guys like my, my ears, huh? Hi, Rosa and Tracy and Stephanie and Robin. Miss Jahal, you hope you're doing good. Hi, Dale. Hi, Rachel. You love my ears? I knew you would. You like my lipstick, Stacy. You like my titties? Well, you know, I told you guys, I would love, I would, I love big baloney nipples on ladies or the big areolas. And you know what? Why not? That's what I want. That's, this is just me being me. Living my life and doing me. Oh my God, is that Robin? Yes, I do. I really love the big, thick, the big areolas on women, and this is what I want. Now I don't know if it's possible. You didn't notice my bunny ears. Um, my eyes are up here, Dale. My eyes are up here. I know what you're looking at, but my eyes are here and my ears are here. Okay. This is the thing. I don't know if it's possible for me because with my my um stimulus check that I'm going to get from you know the government, not Donald Trump, the government. I want to go to Tijuana and I want to get a breast implants. But what I'm wondering is if they could really put you know what I mean? Do you, are ladies if any of you have had privileged enough to get breast implants, can they do areolas too? Is that a new shade of lipstick? It's called denim, blue denim. That was a loud toot, loving the blue. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, gorgeous. Well, hi, Nancy. Dale, please. My eyes, my eyes and my ears are up here. Don't. This isn't. If you want to talk to me, look up here. Did you take that red ring off the baloney? No, it's still there. I thought it would add definition. Hi, Patricia. Patricia, hi. Can you say happy birthday to Gloria? Hi, Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Just sitting here like girls do. I'm just sitting here with my tits out. You guys, look at I'm wearing a different eyeshadow, too. 
I'm wearing I'm wearing a goldy, like a glittery gold. And you know what? I'm 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 ready for Easter, you know? Look at me. <laughs> and look, I have these other glasses too. I should put these on. Thank you, Isabel. They will spray foam. They'll spray foam in my nipples to get to get the areolas that I want. Will I'm a monstrosity. Oh, wheelchair girl has joined us. Oh, wheelchair girl. Where I, I did see you. Oh, there you are. Love the bunny ears. Hope you have a good Easter. I hope you too do. I hope you do too, dear. Did you get a basket for Lucifer? She has a little baby. She just had a little baby. Did you really name him Lucifer? Oh, hi, Anthony. Anthony Trawick, or Trawick. I don't know how you say his name. He's one of the men who are going to interview me tonight. Oh, hello, Michael, jo Joey Taylor. Ty, you sent me a, a, a PM. I know I haven't looked at him yet. Oh, thank you. Hey, wheelchair girl, Christian Gonzalez says he loves you. He's, well, he said, we love you. He didn't say him specifically. Nancy says, is that baloney on your breasts? He had mentioned you found baloney-sized areola sexy. Yes, and this is what, if I, if I can have the breasts, okay, I'll tell you. I'll, I think I know why I like the big areolas. You know, when grandma used to take a bath, I would wash her back. And I would go in there and just sit on the edge of the tub and talk to her. And her breasts would just kind of float there in the water. And you would just see, she, Grandma had really big, thick areolas. And I just thought they were pretty and feminine. Yep, I got a few toys for him for Easter. And no, his name is actually Cal Il. Cal Il Amunra. Oh, you know, before I go on, you guys, I want to... I want to give a shout out to um, Lopan. Um, Lopan, who I was calling Chinaman before I knew his name, um, because he wrote in Chinese and I couldn't tell his name. I couldn't, I, oh, Khalil from Superman. Um, Kal El. It's Kal El. Yeah, Kal El. But, anyways, does Marquina peel the red paper? off your bologna no i i left it on the it's like a plastic band it's really to keep the meat together gorgeous as ever thank you so much hi anthony from manchester you asked about bologna well that's the thing is can they or maybe after you get your breast implants maybe they could pump up the areola with silicone because i really love the big meaty areola look Hi, you from South Wales. Well, hi, how are you? You love my lipstick. Thank you. Are those nip, scratch, and sniff? Um, Hagatha's real. Who's, who's Sade Smith? Like, who's she talking about someone being real? And I don't think she's the real Sade. Yeah, I think Sade Smith is, I don't think she kind of knows what's happening here. You're awesome. Keep doing, oh, thank you so much. That's what happens when you don't discipline your kids. Are you claiming, you think I wasn't disciplined, Timothy? Really? You know anything about my childhood? Is bologna really a pancake form of hot dog wieners? Pretty much. You know, it tastes like a hot dog. It's a flat hot, it's like a hot dog tostada. Your lips are popping. Oh, thank you so much. Hagatha, you're huge in the UK. Oh, thank you. You like my bunny ears and my glasses. Thank you. But, you know, I want to give a, a shout out to Lopan. He, I was calling him Chinaman because I couldn't read his name. But then he, he clarified it and said his name was Lopan. And then sometimes I would mess, I would call him Lomain, but whatever. But um, he sent me a really nice card and I really appreciated that. 
And you know what? And I need to give a shout out to Lindsey Graham. He he's a guy on here. Oh, thank you, Karen. He's a guy. He's a guy on here. Uh, um, who wanted a shout out for his birthday? Um, I'm drinking vodka with a raspberry seltzer water. Oh, the meatballs are coming. Just they're doing great. Can you shout out to my cousin? Oh, Trevor, I've I've already wished your cousin a happy birthday. Yeah. Dale Cook says, What's Marquina making for lunch today? How you know what? We had a we had a late lunch. We had a late breakfast. So we're just gonna have um lup dinner. You know what I mean? Oh, Sade. Hey, Sade. You, you do know I could block you, don't you? I mean, you, you do know that. You're not a very smooth operator for not knowing that I can't block you. Because I can block you at any minute now, okay? Yeah, vodka is the best. My five-year-old said, tell that man to put a shirt on. Oh, well, God, even five-year-olds are misgendering me. You know, they may end up in juvenile hall for misgendering people. Oh, hi, Karen. Love you, too. Alejandro Rubenstein, can you do a southern accent for us? Well, I can. I can, darling, if you need me to. Where's your whistle, hog? Oh, my God. Where is my whistle? I think it's hanging up somewhere, and I can't. I don't see it immediately. Um, is this real or supposed to be comedy? Not my intention to be offensive. Please don't take any. Well, a Adrian, that's funny. Um, why are you, why are you, um, you know, I love when someone asks you a question and then they, they, they sit there, then put in parentheses, oh, it's not my intentions to be offensive. Or I don't mean this in a racist way. I don't mean this in a homophobic way, but I still want to know. It's like, you know what, Andrew, if you want to ask people questions, you're going to have to deal with the consequence. You got to, you got to be man enough to take it. You know, it's, it's kind of like, I'm going to ask you a question, but don't be mad at me. Well, what are you like a five-year-old? I don't know. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Okay. And are you saying, is it comedy? Well, Andrew, are you laughing at it? Are you, do you think it's funny? You think this is funny, Andrew? That's what I don't understand. If you're if you're asking me if this is comedy, then you must think it's funny, right? But you want to make sure and be safe. You want to be safe and make sure it is comedy before you laugh because you don't want to be guilty of being a bad person for laughing. Is that it? Uh-huh. We've kind of realized right now you just got a lesson on what's wrong with the world, okay? Okay. Uh, Richard, I know. Why would he think it's funny? That's that's what I don't understand. Andrew, so you think I'm funny. You think a misgendered, disabled, vegan, intersectional feminist lesbian, owner of many participation trophies and ribbons, you think I'm funny? What does that say about you, sir? Hmm? Hi, Ka oh, Ashley Ann has joined us. Hi. You're absolutely amazingly beautiful. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. <sighs> Sade Smith says I'm weird. Am I? You know, I'm going to tell you, Sade Smith, who is not a smooth operator, is over here. And you old people will know what I mean by that. Um, obviously, you're judging yourself and you cover up your face with ugly ass makeup, Holly. Who's Holly? Are you talking to somebody else? I want a slice of bologna. Hello, hog. It's a... You're struggling to get online. Only disabled because, wait, hold on. Jamie says, you're only disabled because you don't stop eating food. Really, Jamie? Do you stop eating food? 
Do you? Food is what keeps us alive. You want me to deprive myself of nutrients? My wife, Emily Clifford, thinks you are amazing. She loves you. Oh, thank you. Can you speak French? Um, I can count. Un, deux, trois, can't, cinq, six, sweet, enough. Um, I think that's all I know. And I could say bonjour. And I can say, um, I could say voila and deja vu. And I could say escargot. Yes. Andrew says, yes, I indeed do believe you're funny. Please tell me what that what that means about me. Andrew, I'm going to tell you what it means about you. It means um, that you're homophobic, you're misogynistic. That's what that means. And you're racist because I'm 2% African. Hi, you're from Leon, Mexico. Hi, Juan. Hey, Juan. Is that wall too big for you to jump over or something? Is that why you're still in Mexico? Can I speak Spanish? Yeah, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Um, I could say chupa tu madre. I could say um, chinga tu madre. I could say chupa mi vito. Um, I could say carnitas and enchiladas and asada. And um, I can say baca and marana. And um, I could say panzón. Um, I could say Gordo. Um, hi from Kentucky. Hi, Raven. Can you give Austin, my Maltese, a shout out? Well, hi. Rude Facebook people. Bonjour, madame. I want to see your fluffy little bunny tail, Hoggy. Oh, I should have gotten one of those. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Is that baloney? In Espanol, I just, you know what, I just, I, you guys, oh, hi, Charlie. You guys, I just put some bologna over my nipples because I just, I love the big, I love big areolas. I mean, this is no different than wearing a wig, is it? I mean, wearing a wig or a push-up bra or getting Botox. I mean, I'm just presenting myself in the way I find myself to be beautiful. <sighs> Have you dated a hot Latino guys before? Never, never a man. And honestly, the Latinos aren't colored enough for me. I like them darker. Okay. Now, maybe if they're maybe Guatemalan and from it really deep in the jungles, maybe, maybe. But nothing beats just a real big, breasty black lady. You know what I mean? Oh, hi, Brandy. Thank you. The chest hair is on point. You know, I did shave it up here. I did shave this. Well, hello, Allison. What what part of Dino are you from? Would I ever don't date Joe Simon? I don't know who that is. Do you do the truffle shuffle? I don't know how to do that. Will you say happy belated birthday to my Hermano Joe? Well, hi, Joe. Happy birthday. But the Mexican comment was racist. What comment? What comment did I say was racist? Until, are you talking about my, my baloney turning green? Deep in the jungles? Well, there are jungles down there. What's wrong with that? Do you have something against jungle people? I don't. I think they're beautiful. I have alopecia up on my head. You should eat hard-boiled eggs in honor of East. <laughs> Please say hi to Josh. He wants a famous person. Hi, Josh. Hi. Do I love you, Ashley? I love you this much. <sighs> oh, I said, have you watched the time? I haven't watched. I can't afford um Netflix, you guys. That's why. That's why I put out my um. You know, you guys. I put out my um. Uh, I put out my links and stuff so you guys can get a uh, pay me, you know, so I can get some. Um, maybe if I get enough money, I can get some Netflix and watch Tiger King. Here, I'll put I'll put some links out for you since you guys really care that much. 
Yeah, I'm going to put out a, you know what? I'm going to put a link to my shirt. I think you guys, a lot of people like that shirt. And I'm going to work on designing a new one next week. Okay. And then, um, you know, just in case, you know, you want to tip Hagatha, you know, because a lot of people do ask me for that, you know, and no, I'm not asked. I'm not begging for money. I'm not trying to swindle anybody. I just constantly get people saying, how can, how can we tip you Hagatha? And do you have any merch? And I'm going to put my PO box out there. Okay. Because I get people like Lopan and Rachel and Kayla. Wait, copy. And Lori. They want to they wanna send me stuff, you know? Matt wants a shirt. Oh, I do have my tarot cards. I do. I do, have, but I'm not, I can't do tarot today. Sade doesn't understand. Well, Sade, wait, Sade don't know what's happening. Well, if Sade has a problem, you know, with a with a 2% African lesbian, misgendered, vegan, inter well, I'm actually vegan fluid, intersectional feminist, then she's a racist and a homophobe. I'm going to send you stuff on, oh, Dale, thank you so much. Yeah, Dale, he's one of these guys that live in Wales. And he's going to send me, him and, and some other people say they're going to send me some, like, the British candy and stuff. You know? Shout out to me in Maine. Well, hi, Keith Peters. May I ask if anyone has ever taken the time? Wait, what? If I had Netflix, would you give my password? Oh, you can give me a password and I could watch it? Maybe I should get Slim Fast or Jenny Craig. To be corporate sponsors. Well, why? Do you think I need to go on a diet, Brian? You know, I'm a very body positive person. I won't be body shamed. Don't body shame me, sir. Because I'll tell you, I'm never going to be thin enough and pretty enough to be your woman because I'm a lesbian. Okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, go get into any of your patriarchal, you know, definitions of beauty because that's just not me. I'm my own woman and I'm a strong woman. Maybe you need this to remind you. You can bend but never break me Cause it only serves to make me More determined to achieve my final goal And I come back even stronger not a novice any longer Cause you've deepened that conviction in my soul Oh yes, I am wise But it's wisdom gone to pain Yes, I paid the price But look how much I've gained If I have to, I can do anything I am strong I am invincible. I am woman. Women, don't ever let men bring you down like that one guy just tried to do to me. You're a woman. Stand up and roar and be the woman, the strong woman that you are. <sighs> Nip concealer merch. I would never want to hide my areolas. Augie, what does under your breast smell like? I like bologna right now. It smells like bologna. And the Oscar goes to, oh my God, I will buy your records. She sings too. Damn. You're the whole package, girl. Juliana, you know what? I have many gifts. I do. You guys notice my earrings today? Yeah, you like my earrings? They match my necklace. I think Kayla. It's either, either Kayla or Rachel. Can't remember. Jessica lip lip talk. I just want your clam bake. Have I ever thought about it auditioning for Dracula? Cute bunny ears and glasses. Thank you so much. Oh, Rex, it was your birthday. Well, happy birthday. Hogatha is so sexy. I would bite her nipples off. Well, it tastes like bologna right now. 
Hog, if the police consider using pasties over the bologna the next time for next... Oh, I could put, like, little tassels right here, huh? <clears throat> Wait, Tim Mallet wants his glasses. He wants... Wait, did he not get any? Did I not? Did he get? Did he send me money for glasses and I didn't send them? That's very unlike me. I mean, I have done it before. Oh, I get the shout out to Derek Spears. Hi, are you live on Facebook right now too? I am. I am on Facebook right now. Hi from New Zealand. Well, hi Juliana. How are you? Or Juliana? Oh my God, squirty cream nips now. Do you like the scorpions? Um, you mean like that Rock You Like a Hurricane song? Yeah, I like that. I like that song. Ditch the baloney, please. Did you have toilet paper? Um, R Rodrigo, I do have toilet paper, but I really save it for emergencies. I just, I use my coffee can and my washcloth. Oh, well, hi, Jessica. Happy birthday, dear. Well, I was a bit bored with the lockdown, but I got to say, oh, I missed the comment. Comments are going very quick today. Did you take your meds? Andy, I don't take meds. I supplement my estrogen with tofu. Travis, I think the shirts are 25. They come in many different styles and colors and hoodies and tank tops and all kinds of stuff. What perfume do you wear? Um, I wear Ginate. Oh, hi, Sarah. Well, welcome. You're always welcome. How are you doing with the whole social distancing and quarantine? Well, Lisa, that's, you know, that's what I do anyway. You know, I'm sort of a homebody and, you know, and I'm kind of, I, I stay in bed a lot due to my chronic fatigue syndrome. Kayla from Hawaii says, hi. Well, hello. I just bought mine. Can't wait. Do you eat grass? Well, of course not. I'm not an animal. I love the coffee can washcloth technique. I have toilet paper, but I never use it now. Well, yeah, people, if you really are responsible and you really care about people, and I mean especially people of color, you know, if you just think about, okay, all, all the white people, if you're out hoarding all the toilet paper, you're basically being racist because you're making it to where the people of color can't get toilet paper. And you guys, you've heard that they can't get to the DMV and get IDs. Well, in fact, you should actually be, why people really, if you don't want to be racist, you should actually be buying toilet paper for the people of color and then delivering it to them because they can't get to the DMV to get IDs in case you haven't heard. That's why we can't have the racist I voted voter ID thing. Because the people of color can't get to the DMV to get IDs for that, okay? So that means they can't get toilet paper either. So that means all the white people have it. So you guys really need to start delivering. The white people need to start delivering. No, I'm not single. You need to get the toilet paper to the neighborhoods with the people of color, okay? And you could use the coffee can and the washcloth method like I do. I mean, you're not better than me, so you can do that, okay? You just get a washcloth and put it, get a can of water, put it next to the um, the toilet and just rinse it out, wring it out, wipe your bottom and put, and just put it back into the can. Okay. You could use it for a couple uses, maybe for a day or two. Oh, hi from, hi, you're in Sweden. How you doing? Um, don't you think, Hoggy? Wait, every white people should be given a person of color for a family or a family of color to be responsible for. Um, what a great idea. This, You know, it's funny for a person who says his, their name is I Leave Mean Comments just left a very insightful, beautiful comment. I mean, let's be honest. I think every white person, white people should actually 
sponsor a family or a person of color. Because, I mean, they're, you know, I mean, the news tells us that they're traditionally poor and oppressed. So, you know, white people, you know what, white people, this is what I think you should do today. Get a roll of toilet paper. This person got baloney on their nips. Um, really, take your toilet paper, put it in a baby carriage or in a basket, and go around to all the neighborhoods where you know there are certain people who live there. And knock on the door, and you might say, Hi, I would like to offer you this toilet paper. You might have to learn Spanish, in my area anyway, because probably every other household speaks Spanish exclusively. So, um, yeah, you got, you guys can get a translator on your phone and you can speak to them. And there is Ebonics too. There is an Ebonics feature, I believe, on the phone. Aren't you being racist by assuming people of color can't afford stuff? Soren, no. We are told constantly by the media how oppressed and poor people of color are and how disadvantaged they are. I think you, Soren, are being very insensitive and racist. Raven says, I have black and mixed family. You sound dumb. Then Raven... Why are we constantly told that they're underprivileged, poor, and oppressed? Okay, I think you should probably speak to the media then. Because the media tells everybody how poor, oppressed, and underprivileged that they are. And underserved. Okay? Maybe, you know, you're not really in touch with things. Facebook has horrible people commenting. I am currently a slave to that's the truth. Hoggy, there are no Spanish people where I live. Well, honest, well, well, Adam and Dale, there are no Spanish people where I live, too. They're all Mexican. There is a difference. Some will tell you there's no difference, but there is. Okay, I'm a white people, and I have three black... You have three black kids? Sarah. Well, I certainly hope that you give them the toilet paper and you just use your washcloth. And really... Have you even considered that every day they see you, they see the face of the oppressor and what that might mean to them? Will Smith isn't poor. Trevor, but he's still oppressed. Okay. He's still oppressed and disadvantaged. Okay. Just because he has some money in the bank doesn't mean he's not oppressed and disadvantaged. And that's worth more. That is worth more than the money he has in his account. Wait, Adam and Dale are offering toilet paper to the Polish. Why are Polish people poor? But they still are privileged. See, that's the thing. Even if they're poor, they're privileged. And you can't buy privilege. What if a person has vitiligo? They're still black. I need to ask, why do you look like that? Nick, because I'm a woman. That's why I look like I'm a woman. And I'm being festive for Easter. This dump is better looking than Hog. I'm privileged to witness this stream. Your coffee can method causes COVID-19. It does not. I disagree with everything you've said. Really? MR? What does MR mean? I mean, I know what it meant when I was a kid when you called someone MR. But what would what do you mean disagree with everything I've said? I'm sorry, person. I don't know if you're a male or female or any other gender, but I, you know, you disagree with everything I've said. Really? Well, then you're a racist and a homophobe. Yeah, I know. How old are you, Hoggy? Sergio, I'm 50. Okay. And you know, really, what 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 kind of manners do you have, Sergio, for asking a lady how old she is? Andrew Greco says, because this is comedy, that's why. Well, I'm glad I find I'm glad you find me funny and you find racism funny and toilet paper and COVID. Um, Barbara Hogfat says, I save money by using Hog this can and cloth method. It, right. I mean, really, why? 
Why waste money and take things away from people of color when you don't have to? I have mixed children. Are they saying my boys are surprised? Are you saying my boys are surprised? What? Surprised at what? You never ask a lady her age. Right, Nathan? I mean, really, you know, boys nowadays are not really taught respect for ladies. Hagatha, what if your utopia post, what is your, oh my God, what is your utopia post-COVID? BGC Hub says, I'm a man of color. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that, BGC. I really am. I want to I want to say I'm sorry for the oppression that you that you experience at the hands of white people. I'm really sorry about that. And it must be awful. It really it must be awful to wake up every day and look in the mirror and know I'm going to be oppressed today. Enjoy your your convos Hagatha for death. Oh, wait a minute. In New Zealand, you have two deaths. Oh my God, shut the whole country down. Shut it down and, and really destroy every business. Two people have died. Okay, what star sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Joanne Horn, Karina Morgan, too weird. I'm not watching it. I think you two are suffering from lockdown syndrome and you must fight it. Be strong. Angela, spoken like a true racist and homophobe. You go right ahead. In fact, I'm going to block you. I don't want you here watching me. Hagatha, I have to ask you if you have some government cheese to go with that baloney. India, I don't. Um, we don't have that anymore. And I mean, maybe it's just me because I'm a white people, and that's fine. They can give that stuff to the people of color because they deserve it more. It's really awful being oppressed by white people stealing toilet paper. Well, it is. I mean, seriously. And and let's be honest. A lot of the white people are vegan, right? Because they're better than everybody. And so they tend to have like little poops and, and, and they're hard and they don't really have to do a lot of wiping. But, you know, soul food really is greasy and Mexican food is very greasy. And, you know, the toilet, let's put it this way, the toileting experience for people of color is a lot more traumatic than for white people just because of the diets, which we could also say is digestive racism. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, really think about it. Anytime you've eaten soul food or you've eaten Mexican food, you know, you're on that toilet. But, you know, when, when you have a vegan diet like us white people, you know what I mean? You maybe go once a day. It's a dry little nugget. It just plops out. You know, you don't have to do a whole lot of wiping. You was clearly abused, and you were clearly valid Victorian in high school. Okay. Happy Easter, Hagatha. Send loving your way. You always put a smile. Oh, thank you so much. Well, wow, never thought about it, but yeah, that's true. Why the F is this in my scroll feed? Um, LaDawn, Rose, why? Because you're privileged, that's why. You're lucky. Happy Easter. You used to be vegan, Tamara. What, what happened? Why aren't you anymore? I'm vegan fluid myself. Um, Garrett, actually, I was a vegan, but then I turned vegan fluid. <sighs> My sister loves you. She's watching you on Facebook. Can you tell Chrissy you love her? Well, hi, Chrissy. Love you, girl. How you doing? Thanks for watching. Were they good? Oh, you make my days, Hoggeth. Oh, thank you so much. Why oppress the baloney? Is someone oppressing my baloney? Since eating at home, I have noticed the diet has constipated me. And every time I go, it's either a little rabbit pellet or it's completely stops to the toilet, really. Hoggy, are you ready for your interview later? I am, you guys. Thanks for bringing it up. I, I was going to bring it up later, but I'm doing a show tonight. Um, I'll post the link. It's the second time I've been on the show. I don't know why they want me back, 
but they are okay. It's on a channel called the Unframed of Mind. Okay, now I'm gonna post um the links where the interview will be. Now, this is the event. Okay, on Facebook, but it will also be on YouTube. Now, these men in particular, they were very nice to me last time I was on there, but I'm going to wear my whistle. These men are very, how can I put it? One of them, his name is Anthony, and he has a very boisterous, masculine voice that just really, I can't get comfortable around it. And then the other one, he has this really big, big beard, just to let you know he's a man. Okay. Yeah, Justice, this is baloney. Because these are the this is about the size of the areola I would like to have. And if any of you have any experience with breast implants, women out there and, and men, some men get breast implants. Um I want black privilege now. Give me my black privilege. This is the thing. Do you guys who have had breast implants, can they do, can they puff up the areolas too? Can you get a big puffy areola? Did you get a sunburn? No, it's my rosacea. Um, I put a link to the show that's going to be on tonight. Um, why not use vegan bologna? Well, I don't know because I'm vegan fluid. That's why. I frightening you're frightened Kay. why are you frightened would you ever get yes i do want breast implants but only if i'm assured that i will also can get really big meaty areolas live feeds that you can actually smell you going as well i'm hogatha i'm going i am hogatha they're having hogatha they're, they asked me to come on the show People really just piss me off. If you don't like this live, oh, you selling those fillets after the show? Oh, my bologna? No, I'm, 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 I might give them to the dog. Yeah, Andrew, I'm vegan fluid. It's those are days. You know, some days I'm vegan, sometimes I'm not. You know, just like gender fluid. Some days you could be woman, sometimes you could be a man. Same thing. Okay. Agatha, can you please tell me what to do about Jennifer's swollen labia? It's moving to her clitoris, and I'm scared for her. Um, Laura, if she has a swollen labia, Laura, now I don't really, I don't want to alarm you. But do you think that she could have been penetrated by a BBC? It is Jennifer, has she ever shown any inclination to enjoy men? Um, because I I have I know from I, I know from experience, not from my own personal experience, that a BBC could really swell up your labia. I would be worried about that. Maybe put an ice pack on it. Can you come hop? By my house to prove my kids the bunny is real. Even the dog will turn his nose up. Sing Marilyn Manson, please. No, she's strictly lesbian. Well, as far as you know, Laura, right? Did you get a little aggressive in bed with her, Laura? Like, like I don't know. I don't want to. I I don't want people to you know kind of picture this, but. Laura, I'm picturing you down there like a puppy, tugging, biting and tugging really hard. Could that cause that swelling? I'm not Carol Baskins. I did dress like her the other day. Hogatha, have you ever modeled professionally? You remind me of a young Christy Turlington. You know what, John? Christy Turlington, I think, is so gorgeous. She really is. And I appreciate that. I take that as a compliment. Christy Turlington is a model from the 90s. And she was in George Michael's video, Freedom. Um, 
gorgeous supermodel. She was in the video with Christy, uh, with with um, Naomi Campbell and Cindy Crawford. Claudia Schiffer was in it too, and Linda Evangelista, which I think it, Linda Evangelista is gorgeous. Um, is that baloney on you? Yes, Jim. This is these are the the areolas I would I would love to have. You've ruined baloney for me forever. Oh my God, what on earth have I stumbled upon? Mike, you've stumbled upon your dream woman. The woman of your dreams. All your dreams have come true. Beef curtains, maybe. Can I sing freedom? Oh Lord. I don't even know if they have that. Oh. Do you purposely put the red blush all over your face? Sweetheart, that is called rosacea. I'm going to try it. You like my hair color? It's every color, huh? It's every color. Because I'm every woman. I won't let you down, I will not give you up, gotta have some faith in the sound, it's the one good thing that I've got, I won't let you down, so please don't give me up, cause I would really, really love to stick around, oh yeah. Okay, what's your lip color and brand? It's called Blue Denim, and it's made by NYX. NYX. You think I should use grape leaves? No, but you don't understand. I'm not trying to cover up my nipple. I'm trying to actually add an areola. Now, I need to... Wait, my mom into Mexicans with no teeth. John, are you familiar with the term paisa? She might like some paisas. Okay, you think, somebody said that it's the color of my lips is called Blue Waffle. It's not, I'll tell you. It's called, it's by NYX Liquid Suede Lip, it's cream lipstick, and it's in the color Blue Denim. Hoggy, can you do the poop noodle song, please? You want to know something? I actually got in trouble for doing that. I got a, I got a message from YouTube saying it was a copyright infringement. It's like, seriously, really? Somebody actually licensed poop noodle? It wasn't even a hit. It wasn't. You know what? I bet I could sing poop noodle, but with the with a karaoke track. You think putting my lipstick on makes me look hot? I love it when you wear hot pink lipstick. Your mouth looks like a baboon's ass. Hogatha, this is the first time I've seen you live on your lives. I love you. Keep. I will, Tiffany Marie, and thank you so much. Chris, you want me to put a shirt on? Why? You look like Peter Griffin with color. Well, Peter Griffin is actually in, he's drawn in color. Can you do the, oh, the C-U-N-T song? I'm never eating ham again. This isn't ham, um, Laina? This is, it's, it's bologna. Big fan from the deep jungles of Africa. All right, Boogeyman, where are you at? Are you in the Congo or what? I bet you got a BBC swinging, aren't you, underneath that loincloth? This is my first time here, too. Did you shave your head in the morning? No, you got, I have alopecia. I don't know the song Jolene. I've heard it, but I can't sing it. I don't know it well enough. Shout out from Nigeria. Well, hello. 
excuse me, what's your name? Kezrail? You're not the one who sends me all those private messages wanting money, do you? Because I get a lot of things from Nigeria. They'll t call me pretty lady and stuff. And I know they want money from me. I'm not stupid. I can't hear your beautiful voice as I'm at work, but it's nice to see your amazing face. A plus choice lipstick. Well, thank you, William. I appreciate that. Jennifer Williams says the reason Malavia is swollen is because Laura put those damn googly eyes that we have for our cat and tried to be kinky by gluing it on Malavia. And I had an allergic. Oh, you're kidding me. Did she want to make it look like a beard? Like she put the googly eyes up and make the clit, the nose and, and the bush, the beard. I mean, I could see how that'd be fun. But she should really be using more, probably like a food-grade adhesive, not, not like super glue or anything. Can you do a shout-out to me? Well, hi, Lindy. My IT support calls me from Nigeria. My puss looks like the cat's mate or something, and I can't get the cat off my lap. Well, Jennifer, does it smell like tuna? I mean, cats are really attracted to tuna. You're taking food and putting it on your body while there are families starving because of the crisis. Well, they can go to the store and get it for 99 cents. I mean, that's what I did. I mean, bologna is not expensive. And, you know, I have to worry about my own self, my own disabilities, and my own my own food stamps and stuff. I'm sorry if people waste their food stamps on drugs and alcohol, but I don't. I I I use my food stamps, and I feed. I, I'm a big girl. I got to eat, okay? I can't worry about other people's food. I can't. I'll worry about the toilet paper, but not their food. Because they get cash aid, plus they get food stamps, okay? Plus churches give out food. Plus food banks. Plus, you know morally superior people donate tons of money to things there's no if you think anybody in the united states is going hungry you're stupid what's my disability um i am i have chronic fatigue syndrome and i have morbid obesity you bought the food you do what you want with it I know women, and I'm going to be honest with you, I know women who buy cucumbers, and they're not eating them, I'll tell you that. Hoggy, is that bologna vegan? No, Ashley, because I'm vegan fluid. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Meatball sandwiches. Yeah. Hi, Scott Young. How are you? And he will crown you by the Congo Village. Wheelchair Girl says, I'm spending some time with my boyfriend. Love your life so much. Oh, thank you, Wheelchair Girl. That's so sweet. You, you, you know, Wheelchair Girl sent me a really cute picture of her and her boyfriend. He's a little bit of a bad boy. Yeah, I could tell. He's got those tattoos. You're either vegan or not vegan. Well, Andrew, um, no, I'm vegan fluid. That's like saying you're either male or female, okay? And you know that that's not true. You could be gender fluid. You could be fluid between the genders, okay? I'm fluid between food. I'm either a vegan or I'm a carnivore. I can go back and forth because I'm vegan fluid. I don't use cucumbers. My, my clitoral tunnel is quite small. And I don't put anything in my butt. Um, that's gross. I don't know how women and gay men do that, but it's nasty. And I don't understand how heterosexual men like fingers and getting pegged and stuff. I don't get that either. Hoggy is men from the Congo have massive penis. Do the women have massive hanging beef curtains? You know what? That's a great question, Adam and Dale. You think women in the Congo have very deep vaginas? Like it goes from their vaginal opening up to their throat. Do you think they have that? Because I would assume that they their vaginas have to accommodate, you know, a BBC. Hoggy is men from, oh, you're, okay. He has a lot of tattoos. I will get my son's name on me. Oh, that will be cute, wheelchair girl. You should get it right across your forehead. 
wheelchair girl's going to get a tattoo of her son's name. And I think she should do it right across her forehead. Rachel, you want to know what vegan fluid is? It means you're fluid. One day you're vegan and the next day you're not. Just like when you're gender fluid. One day you're a man, one day you're a woman. You know, you can, you're fluid between the genders. Well, I'm fluid between food. Okay. What do you do for work, Hogatha? Ryan, I'm not privileged enough to be able-bodied to get up to work and, and labor. But I also, but I do videos online and I sell glasses and I sell t-shirts. You know, while I'm collecting my disability, I make extra money on the side. And if there ever comes a time where I make more doing the t-shirts and the videos, I'll stop my disability in a heartbeat. I went for a bike ride today and a vegan shouted at me to go home. Well, I'm sure they did. Yeah, you know, the thing is, Martin, you guys, you always have to listen to vegans. Vegans are very smart, okay? And they know how to eat. They know what's right for you. And you know that because they'll always talk about their diet, okay? Because they know what they're talking about. So, you know, veganism isn't just what you put in your mouth. It's a whole lifestyle. It is. And it, it's a whole... And, and, you know, and let's be honest, they're morally superior people. They are. They are. Because they always like to tell you how they're, what to eat and how they're eating and how to save the planet, okay? Really, you got to listen to those people. You're, you are a lot of things between food. Fluid is not one of them. I'm on a seafood diet. When I see food, I eat it. Can my friend Nathaniel Richardson get a happy birthday? Well, happy birthday, Nathaniel Richardson. He had a t-shirt. I'm saying I'm a vegan. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll make one up that says, maybe I'll design a shirt that says I'm vegan fluid. How about that? Is BBC considered vegan? N well, no, it isn't. Um, no, it's not. Because you was on a bike. Oh, wait. So you don't, I bet it could eat a whole cow in 10 minutes. I don't know, maybe a 30 minutes. Not, wheelchair girl says, I have thought about giving vegan to lose weight after baby, but honestly, I love food too much. Well, you know, wheelchair girl, you'll do what you do. I mean, only us superior people become vegans. You know, if you don't, if you can't, if you fully think that you can't live up to that superiority, then don't try it because you don't want to do it and fail. That's why I'm a, I'm a fluid vegan. Okay. Martin says, have you ever been to Wales in the UK? Me and all my 12 brothers love watching you. Martin, you have 12 brothers. Was your mother's vagina a clown car? Um, vegan fluid people are morally superior to strict to strict vegans because they're more tolerant. It's my niece's birthday. Can you say happy birthday? Hi, Sandy. Happy birthday. Are your bunny ears you're wearing vegan? No, I think I think they're all plastic. You know? Today, hi Jeremy. Happy birthday, Jeremy. I became vegan fluid because I felt privileged like that. Well, Rodrigo, you know. It's your way to be, you know, you can you can claim vegan status. You can. And the reason why you do that is so you're not treated any differently. It's kind of like getting fake teeth. So you have pretty teeth and people treat you differently, but you really know that you have ugly nubs underneath them. It's like being vegan fluid. It's the same thing. It's like wearing a wig. You know, you could pretend to have long, luxurious, beautiful hair, but we all know you got ugly chicken head underneath that wig, okay? Same thing, vegan fluid. You say you're a vegan, but you're really not. So people think that you're superior and woke, okay? Is veganism a way to get a disability allowance? Um, I don't think I can get dis more disability because I am a vegan. Good morning. Oh, Unframed of Mind says, good morning, beautiful. You have very voluptuous breasts. So thank you so much. That is the, you guys, Unframed of Mind. That, that is the show I'm going on tonight. He's in, they're in the YouTube chat right now. 
I've taken after you. As I was vegan fluid this evening, I had vegan carrot, vegan cabbage, and the vegan new potato and a rump steak. Well, you know what, uh, Martin? It is, but you, it was 95% vegan food. You can call it, you can say it's vegan. You know, just like you guys, you know what? I talked about, oh, you can see my, nip, my nipples are coming through the areolas. You can see them. Look, at, I can see the lump right there. But anyway, you guys, it's love the red rings around the bologna. You can wear them out in the nightclub. I would love to. And you know what? I Someone gave me a great idea to put them tassels, like tassel pasties on the end of them. But, you know, but but you guys, the funny thing is, even though I'm doing this, 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 this saves me from being censored because, you know, ladies can't show their breasts. So while I'm wearing the bologna on my breasts, they can't censor me. You know what I mean? See, I fooled you. I fooled you, social media. I can bear my breasts as a lady and I can still show them. Ladies, you could, ladies, we're winning. We are, we're winning. Unless peoples who are vegan don't mention they are vegan every 10 seconds, are they even vegan? That is true, you guys. Dale has a point here. You guys, you got to remind everybody, you know, at least maybe every 10 minutes that you're a vegan and talk about the vegan food you're going to make. Because honestly, if you don't put out the fact that you're a vegan, you won't be seen as a vegan, which means you won't be morally superior and woke. Okay. So on the surface, people can't tell you're a vegan or vegan fluid. That's why you have to remind them all the time. So they know you're better than them. Okay. Bologna tassels. Oh, would that be nice? Yeah, I can get them and shred them. You need the thick bologna. You know what? I thought this was thick, but apparently it comes in a thicker slab. I thought about doubling them up, but it was hard to adhere. Hagatha, you should do a video with John Sackars. I don't know who that is. You can have them contact me. Well, hi, Brittany, 26871. A trans vegan lesbian walked into a bar. How do you know? They told everyone. Well, you have to, Deb. You really have to. Because first of all, no one's going to know if you're trans, really. I mean, because they all pass. They all do. So you're going to have to say, hey, everybody, I'm a trans woman. Okay? Just so we know. And then also... A lesbian. I mean, nobody knows if you're a lesbian, you know, unless you're wearing a flannel. But they definitely aren't going to know that you're a vegan. You know, you got to tell people, you know, people, if you want to be treated, you know, like, you know, if you want to be yourself, you got to tell everybody what you are so they can treat you accordingly. Maybe use spam instead of baloney, but the spam is square, isn't it? What do you identify as? Make or I'm I don't you know what I don't like this whole what do you identify as? Because I am a woman. That's I only identify with what I am. So I don't know why I have to say I identify as anything. I'm a woman. That isn't what I identify as. That's what I am. Okay? So I don't understand the whole I, I identify. I don't understand that. Use honey to glue them on. Oh, thank you, Sean. Sean thinks I'm smoking hot. Thank you. Tom wants a piece of this. Who is D? I don't know who D is. Sat in my nick my knickers, and nothing else apart from I have ham on my nipple now. Want to see? Jessica, I think there is a delay on my, my TV, like a delay on Facebook, really. Kay says, Liz Warren says, black trans women are historically the backbone of our country. Truth. Oh, of course they are. Oh, my God. You know, if you see a black trans woman, you, you know, you need to worship them, really. They're the backbone of our country. I mean, without black trans women, where would we be? Did somebody say knickers? That's racist. Oh, wait a minute. No, only a racist mind would hear that word. I know what word you're hearing. 
Jalapeno bologna. No, I just think this sing I am woman here. I sang that earlier, but you know what? You guys, I, I'm in the middle of singing this song. Because somebody said I look like Christy Turlington, and she's in this video. And I really take that as a great compliment to say I look like Christy Turlington. She's a gorgeous lady. She was even brought out of retirement to model because people are so ugly now. Heaven knows I was just a young boy. Didn't know what I wanted to be. I was every little hungry schoolgirl's pride and joy. And I guess it was enough for me. To win the race, a prettier face. Brand new clothes and a big fat place on your rock and roll TV. But today the way I play the game is not the same, no way. Think I'm gonna have to make myself happy. Yeah, a lot of you don't know that song. Yeah, I'm a heterosexual. I, I, am I allowed to watch? Well, of course, Scott. You know what? I... I want you all, all you people to know, the white people, the privileged white people, man, um, any of you, I, I, I want you to watch the heterosexuals, non-people of color, um, non-homo, non-heteronormative conforming people, okay? I, I want you all to watch because it's an education. What you really get is an education from my feeds. Okay, Hog, I was showing your videos to my medical director the other day. Did you? Do I ever think that George Michael ever said no homo? Hoggy, are you going to eat the bologna? No, these are, these are my areolas. You should have been on the freedom. I know, I should have been in the video. I should have been like in the bathtub instead of Christy Turlington. You know, I'm not Chris, uh, Cindy Crawford. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you people. I don't think Cindy Crawford's really that stunning. I think she's pretty for the girl next door, but I don't think she's stunning. Okay. She looks like she would be on the, on, on the hood of a Camaro in a heavy metal video. She is an elegant looking. Okay. But Christy Turlington, gorgeous. Linda Evangelista, gorgeous. Naomi Campbell, gorgeous. I should have been in that video. I should have been in that bathtub. What are you going to buy with the stimulus check? Jim, I'm trying to see how much breast implants are in Tijuana. And I want to see if they can make my areolas like this. Can you tell Scott about my mom's vagina having 12 kids? Scott, his mother had 12 kids come out of that vagina. I said, sweetheart, that's a vagina, not a clown car. Eight is as many as I would have. No cheaper by the dozen half. Wheelchair girl, could you could you put eight babies on your wheelchair? I guess you could have two attached to your titties. So then you got six more. Three on each lap, maybe. I don't know. While you're, you know, wheeling them through the mall or the park or something. <sighs> Did you get into your mother's makeup? No, I, my mother's dead, first of all. Trinity. My mother's dead. Um, I have my own makeup. I'm a grown woman. Okay. What's your favorite song? Oh, uh, I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. That's my anthem. I, Brittany, I sang it already. I sang it earlier. I think there's something you should know. I think it's time I told you so. There's something deep inside of me. There's someone else I've got to be. Take back your picture in the frame. Take back your singing in the rain. I just hope you understand. Sometimes the clothes do not make the man. All we have to do now is take these lies. And make them true somehow. I don't like that line of that song. Why would you have to take a lie and then try to make it true? 
Did you use Maya with glue? You know what? Actually, I didn't. I used wig glue. Mm -hmm. I used wig glue. You know, one thing I've noticed, you guys, every time I start singing, my numbers really drop on Facebook. They really do. I don't think people like my singing. So you all have to do, I'm going to have to do special event karaoke events. That's what I'm going to have to do. And I'll have to say, this is a karaoke event. Okay. Do you ever put makeup on your ta-ta lines? What do you mean? On the lines? Oh, hi, Waverly James. How are you? You think I have a beautiful voice? You were live at 8? Um, not my time. I mean, I came on live at noon, Pacific time. I want to stick you in my face. Facebook is acting weird today, and I had to come over to YouTube. What's wrong with Facebook? That song really made my day. I shed a tear. Thank you so much for making a difference in people's lives. You're a role model. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I, ha I have sang Touch Myself many times. This is like a chola nipple. Do cholas have big nipples like this? Why do you have baloney on your chest? Brittany, because this these are the breasts I want. Brittany, are you lucky enough to have really big puffy areolas? Now, what I'd really like is if the areola, I want to put like little dots on it. You know what I mean? Have you seen the big areolas that have the dots? Like chicken skin. It looks like chickens. You know what, you guys? I don't know. I don't know Slipknot. I don't. Hogatha, you should come to my local public library and read to the toddlers about your tunnel. You know what? The children sh really should be educated about this stuff, shouldn't they? Because, you know, there might be a little misgendered boy in there. Who's being... Never mind. It just it, it really it really hits home for me. You know, there might be a little kid in that in, in the bookstore right now. If we weren't under quarantine, who who's being raised as a boy? Who's really a little girl? And I could really I could really show them a lot. I could show them my baloney nipples, and say, look at when you grow up one day and you can decide what gender you are on your own. You can have this too. So life isn't over when you're six. You know. It isn't over. Here we go again. The fake crocodile tears. And then he comes back to normal again. You know, first of all, Matthew, I'm a woman. Secondly, they're not fake crocodile tears. I'm just a very emotional person. And I'm sorry if I get a little, my voice gets a little shaky and I feel a little tender at the moment. Okay? I'm sorry that bothers you, sir. You know, do, do all women's emotions bother you, huh? Sardine oil is high in omega-3 and killing your ex-husband. Hoggy, Hoggy, aside from me, who would be your top three people to socially isolate with? Oh, boy, Dale. Adam or Dale. Well, maybe you guys and Marquina. I don't know. I can get the tat. Oh, wait a minute. I can get my areolas tattooed. But I want the thickness. I want the thickness. And the tattoo can't add weight and thickness. And I definitely want the chicken skin. I want the, the little dots. Like the, I really think it's really the pores with hair, isn't it? And you know what? And I've heard that some of them get filled up with like pus and you kind of squeeze them and little like little pus comes out from around the areola. <sighs> what's on my chin? A beauty mark. That's what's there. A beauty mark. My son called you the Easter bunny clown. He loves clowns. Well, it's a little rude. You could tell him I'm a lady. You want to be with Bill Gates, Oprah, and Tommy Chong. Bro, say the N-word, please. Nipple? Is that what you mean? That's an N-word. 
Oh, it's Adam. I'm a, oh, okay. Okay. I get it now. So how do you feel about Bernie Sanders dropping out? You know what, Erica? I honestly don't care. I wanted, I wanted, this is what I wanted. I wanted Kamala Harris as president, and I wanted Elizabeth Warren as vice president. So I don't care Bernie Sanders is gone. Well, we don't need, we don't need rich white men in there. We just don't. Old white men. We don't need them. If you hairspray, your hair would look like Pennywise. My son is eight and he says he loves you. Well, thank you so much. And you know, you guys, I really try not to cuss, okay? Or to say nasty things, obviously nasty things, because I know the kids are watching. Even though I'm not a kid's show, I know that they're watching. I want to quarantine with you. Did you gain weight? No, Rodrigo, I haven't. I would love to. Because I'd love for my breasts to get bigger. Is that bar S baloney? Yes, Jennifer, it is. Thank you, everyone. I have pneumonia. Well, I mean, congratulations. My boyfriend says you really look like a woman. Well, that's because I am a woman. The kids are listening, unfortunately, and just pretend they can't. Oh, I know people. I know how I know how it is. I know. I know how difficult it is to raise kids. How difficult it is to, you know, to discipline them and, you know, make them do what you want them to do. I know how hard it is. What do I think of Madonna? You know what I think of Madonna? I'm going to tell you what I really appreciated what she did. I loved how she sat in her mansion in her bathtub filled with milk and rose petals wearing all her jewelry and she had a whole you know a whole lighting set up to make sure she looked good and she had a camera crew in there while she read a poem on how we're all equal people you know and I love the fact that such a wealthy and famous woman can sit in her luxury and look at us common people and tell us I'm just like you the coronavirus has made us all equal. I really give it up to Madonna for that. You know, it must have really taken a lot for her to pose and get in the right position and make sure her lighting was correct and to have her people film her while she read a poem that somebody else wrote. It must have been very difficult. And um, I really, I really, I bet the milk in Madonna's bath went sour the very second she entered it. You know what, Adam? Or no, you're Dale. Dale, you think so? Is that, you think her vagina soured the milk? Or are you just saying that because she's a woman and you're a gay man and you're, you're a misogynist? A lot of gay men are misogynist people. I just want you to know that. And a lot of their homes smell like butt. I can't wait to get Mahogatha's shirt. Oh, either can I, Mandy. You guys, did I post it? No, Renee, these aren't baloney nips. They're baloney areolas. There's a difference, you know. Oh, you're a good person, Hoggy. Never let anyone say anything different. Do you not make sure your... Oh, wait. My lighting. Do you not make sure your lighting is right while you sing songs others wrote? You shouldn't judge others. Really? I shouldn't, Marion? Really? You don't judge people like you just judged me? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're judging me because I judge someone and you're trying to teach me a lesson, right? Is that what you're doing, Marion? Is that how you justify your judgmental attitude? Huh? Is that how you do it? Yeah, I know how you people do it. Okay. You look like an egg that's been painted at Easter egg. Oh, that's pretty. You are not common people. You are a queen. No, just curdled it. So Olivia believes that Madonna's vagina curdled the milk in her bathtub. Maybe it became yogurt from all the yeast in her vagina. Or, or no, wait a minute. Does yogurt remove yeast? I can't remember. Hagatha, if I was a lesbian, I'd be all over you. I have to take my dogs for a park. Oh, well, thank you. Make sure you put a mask on your dogs, okay? Because they can get the COVID. 
Yes, Mandy, it is real meat. I'm a vegan. I'm a fluid vegan. What's your view on 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 Conan and the Cabal? I don't know what that stuff is. I'm I'm not a foreigner. It's wrong to be judgmental, except against straight white males. Well, you know they they do have to be put in check. Hagatha is Jonathan Van Ness a misogynist? I don't know who he is. Hoggy, can you help me come out? Can you please tell my brothers who are watching about the traffic cone? Is that Ian? Is Ian watching? Ian, I want you to know something about Dale. And he's really been holding back, okay? You may have noticed times where he can't sit down or he limps sometimes. Or sometimes even a little hunched over. You guys, Dale enjoys the company of a traffic cone up his bum. You know, and a Adam just isn't adequate enough for him. So Dale has to stick a traffic cone up his bum. And for you, you Americans and other people, bum means butt, okay? And I'm saying that for, for, for Dale and Adam in Wales because that's how they speak, okay? I'm just speaking their tongue, okay? But he does put a traffic cone up there. So he just wants you to know the times that you've seen him limping or he can't sit. That's what's going on. And he's, he feels no shame for it. He wants you to know he's not ashamed for it. And he won't be shamed for it. Hoggy, do you feel, how do you feel about John Depp? Do you mean Johnny Depp? Well, I, I think he's great. He's non-binary. He wears makeup a lot. So he's a non-binary person. So bum e equals butt. Does that mean bummer e equals butler? Jonathan Depp. Yeah, he's isn't he's that vegan fluid. Um, or, or I think he's vegan and I think he is gender fluid because he wears makeup. Where are you from, Marlene? I'm I'm in Southern California. Johnny Depp is 90% scarves and bracelets. Isn't that kind of like Steven Tyler from, from um, Aerosmith? Kind of do the same thing, huh? They wear scarves and jewelry and eyeliner. What is happening here? Tony, I'm a misgendered woman. I'm speaking to my friends. And I'm wearing baloney as areolas because that's what I want. And Tony, do you know, are you, I don't know, are you Hispanic? I can't tell by your last name, but do you know of any um, plastic surgeons in Tijuana who can do this to my areolas? I am hollow. Hear me roar or echo. Well, Adam, I would, or Dale, I would assume that you have a large cavity within your torso to accommodate the traffic cone. You want to go to Cali? Well, Miranda, you better learn Spanish. Um, Francesca wants to know about my lipstick. I got it from Amazon. It's called Blue Denim, and the maker is NYX. Wait, Tamara. Tamara says, Lord, how mercy. She probably meant Lord, have mercy. But see, where I from, come from, you say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I got two gold nuggets on the meat meats. Can you show me your tongue? Johnny Depp and Steven Tyler look like baby lit bag ladies. Hoggy, I am Adam. I'm confused, people. Hoggy, do you know Spanish? Poquito. I know Poquito. I can order I can order food in Spanish. If you only knew. How hard I'm laughing over here with the traffic cone stuff. Well, Jason, it's true. You know, Adam and Dale are, you know, they're they're like hardcore homosexuals. They are. You know, fisting isn't enough. They go right for the traffic cone. Um, your craziness makes me laugh, and right now I need one. Oh, thank you. Will Smith is here. Are you talking about the Will Smith? Why are y'all on her troll in this page post? poke fun if you don't like what he's saying simply i'm a sheep honey i'm a sheep okay 
What in the polar sausage lemonade is going on here? White and oppressed. White and oppressed. Well, please, <laughs> there's no such thing. No such thing as being a white, uh, especially a white man, please. Do you have any tattoos? I do from an old lesbian girlfriend I have over here on my arm. Hoggy, is that horrible Baptist church in California? Which one? Is it all oh, the one that's going to, is it the one that's um, uh, harvest? It's here. Yeah. I have a butt like a Congo woman's vag. Oh, a real deep one, huh? You got a big, deep cavity there. Where are you from? I'm in Southern California. You really... Rust, wait, Rusty Shackelford says, you're really looking for attention, aren't you? Wait, there's no con there was no question mark, so it's not really a comment. It's not really a question. It's more of a comment. You're really looking for attention, aren't you? Um, Rusty, um, I don't have to look for attention. I just get it. Okay. See, Rusty, some people, they can go on their profiles or on their accounts and they can hit live and people will watch them. Okay. I'm assuming that doesn't happen for you. Okay. Because you had to come here and leave your comments so you'll get noticed. Rusty, it's okay. You know what, Rusty? Go ahead and log on and go live. You may have nobody for a while, but then one person will watch. Then two people will watch, okay? You can do that, Rusty. You can do that on your own profile, okay? And you'll get attention. To get attention, you could do that on your own profile. Yes, my baloney does have a first name. It's A R E. O L A. Okay. Um, somebody said that gingers have no soul, Rusty, and you clearly don't. Tammy or Tommy Wiseau came out as trans the other day. I don't know who that is. Are we drinking tonight? I got beers. Oh, yeah, I'll drink. Unframed of mine wants to know if I'm going to be drinking tonight. Yes, I'll be drinking. It puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. Carl, Carl, what is that from? I've never heard that. Have any of you heard that before? That What a very intriguing comment. It puts the lotion on the skin, or it gets the hose again. Very interesting comment. Why you got so much hair on your chest and stomach? Just asking out of curiosity. Didn't know women grew hair there. Well, Dina, you don't know very many women, do you? Many women have hair on their chest, on their nipples, and they have a treasure line. Okay? Are you really a woman? Oh, it's from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, I don't know that movie either. I don't know Hannibal Lecter. I don't know any of those. I don't know Buffalo Bill. I don't know Clarice Starling. I don't know any of that. I don't know Precious either. I don't know Jamie Gum. I don't know Francesca Bimmel. I don't know any of those people. I don't even know Barney, the black um, person in the psych ward. I don't know him either. Rusty, it's from Silence Lamb. Oh, really? I don't know that movie. Never heard of her. Okay. Do you know the Muffin Man? I like a hairy woman. It's conforming to stroke whilst going to sleep. Do you watch Drag Race? No, Jesus, I don't. I'll tell you why I don't watch um, Drag Race. Because I think drag queens are evil. And I think drag queens are what's wrong with America. Yes, Elizabeth, I've heard that she's a, a, a great big fat person. And she likes to sew, too. But anyway, um, 
Oh, Pookie Jackson, please. I bet you're not even black. Okay, but anyway, um, I think that drag queens actually are doing the jo the bidding of white heterosexual patriarchy in this country because th drag queens always live up to a, a beauty standard that men set for women, which is unrealistic. So now you have men. Wait, Divine would be disappointed by this. Okay, but anyway, um, yes. And another thing about, um, you know, um, the it, it puts the lotion on the skin. I know nothing about a man helping, you know, a woman helping a man put a, um, a couch in the back of a van and then getting punched in the face and then waking up in a pit. Yeah. And I, I don't know anything about this person being the daughter of a senator either, a female senator, by the way. And by the way, love your shoes. Okay. Ugh. Or is it love your bag? You know what? I like your, your you know, you, you got uh, a good bag and your cheap shoes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know nothing about that. In fact, I'm going to quote something that I've never heard of, okay? You know what you look like to me? With your good bag and your cheap shoes? Look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition has given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Agent Starling? And that accent you tried so hard to share, shed, pure West Virginia. What's your father, dear? Was he a coal miner? Does he stink of a lamb? You know how quickly the boys found you, all those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seat of a car, while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the FBI. Never heard of it. I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. Can you do the Madeline Kahn monologue from Paper Moon? I've never seen that movie, Trey. Can you believe it? Yes. Are the lambs still screaming? Are they? Are they? Hey, Hogtha, I just wanted to say that everyone here is thinking. And that's your gross? Okay, Machete. Machete845 is... Oh, our, they, oh you... Got a cool name, don't you, huh? We, you want us to think you're cool, huh? His, la his name's Machete. Yeah. Oh, my God. Paper Moon is literally my favorite movie. Not even kidding. I've never seen it. I never have. I've never seen that movie. I've heard it's a good movie. But isn't there, like, pedophilia in it? Did Marquina find Peaches yet? No, not yet. We got to find her. We got to really wrap this up. Uh, please don't ever go that close to my screen. It almost broke. Really, Kyler? That's sad. You got a cheap phone there, don't you? You got one of those free uh, free Obama phones. What's on them big, those TIG biddies, Hoggy? Kristen, they're baloney. Because I like big baloney nipples, like the big areola. Is it a good movie? Okay. Hoggy, which movie should I... You know what? You should watch Requiem for a Dream. You ever see that movie? You know, my favorite scene is when the when the girl, when she go, gets in the, um, you know, she gets in the room with a bunch of... She gets in the room with some guy, and he unbuttons his pants and said, I didn't take it out for air. And then she puts something in her bottom... And then puts the other end in another girl's bottom. And they're doing a show for some men for some drug money. Yeah, you ever see that movie? Requiem for a Dream. Okay, the lipstick is cutting edge. Is it, Rob? Thank you so much. 
What's with the mad faces? Oh, Erica, they're just jealous. They're people who are jealous of me. Probably women. Probably, you know, I would assume, and I assume white women that are jealous of me. That's what I think. Emma Watson can't even be a real feminist. If she does a, ga a campaign for areola diversity. Well, yes. I mean, you would think any woman would. I mean, are, I mean, the big thick areolas. I mean, really, it's so womanly and feminine. Are you going to fry that bologna? No. I just want to chop it up and make some guacamole out of it. You make guacamole out of bologna? Hog, have you seen the platform on Netflix? I don't, I can't afford Netflix. I can't wait for Top Gun 2. All the straight white males are super excited about it. You know, I haven't even seen part one. You know, because that, that Tom Cruise, isn't he kind of the same person in every movie? Isn't he? I mean, really. Is he really even acting? Wait, let me see. I gotta clear up this camera. It looks a little blurry. There we go. Hog, have you seen the plat? No, I don't, you guys, I don't have Netflix. I can't afford it. Can you turn camera around so we can see? No, it's I have it on a tripod right now. Hog a thing, you're not a woman, so stop acting like it. Oh, really, Machete? And are you a Machete? Are you really? Am I supposed to believe you're a Machete? <sighs> Tom Cruise sucks. He's insane. You know, one of my favorite performances that Tom Cruise did was on the Oprah Winfrey show. I loved watching him jump on her couch, acting so excited. to. I think he was... Was that when he was getting married to that one Katie Hopkins person? Is that her name? Or no, that's not her name. I don't know, but you know who I'm talking about. He was so claiming he was he he was so happy to be in love, you know, to try to prove to everybody he was a heterosexual male. You know, he just really had to drive that home that he was so happy, and then he got divorced. Sing Pearl Necklace. I don't know that song. Yeah, when he electrocuted her. Go F off, dull knife. What are you talking about? He runs Scientology. Doesn't John Travolta, do you think Tom Cruise and John Travolta get it on? They're both those Christian Scient or Scientologists. She was more like a prisoner, I think. I'm sure someone will hook you up with Netflix. I don't know anything about that. Um, Hey, Hawks, so pop all your zits. Let them bleed on your face. <sighs> Isn't Tom Cruise like 5'6"? You know what? I'll be honest with you. Me and Marquina were flipping through the TV today, and Mission Impossible is on. And there was a scene that I think that they shot really horribly for Tom Cruise because he's, he's a little person. And Tom Cruise picked up a chair from the floor, and he pushed it under a desk, and he just looked like a cute little boy doing it. And I said, Marquina, rewind that. Let's look at that scene again. How unfortunate. I know Tom Cruise did not like that scene. He just looked like a little kid. The furniture was too big, the room was too big, and the doorway was too big behind him. The scale was off, and they made him look like a little boy. And I know that he hated that. Yes, Tom and John do get it. Please help me promote my business. I will pay for Netflix. Well, Ashley Marie, what is your business? I'm exotic. Thank you, Olivia. What a compliment. I think Travolta is being held hostage by Scientology. You guys ever see how ridiculous his wigs are? I mean, a 70-year-old man does not have hair that thick and that dark. Come on, people. We're not stupid. Unframed of mine. Unframed, unframe of mine says, you are brave and stunning. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Netflix is very racist for charging. Many poor people of color cannot afford it. I agree with you. I think every, you know, I think the internet, cell phones, cable, 
It should be free to people of color. They can't afford things. He's notorious for cruising gyms for man's butts. Are you serious? Oh, how awful. What happened to your face? Sean, what? Nothing happened to my face. I just put on a little makeup. He played a good role in Vanilla Sky. Do you just blow a toot out? Yes, I am a little gassy. Hoggeth is 2% black. That's why she's so exotic. Hey, sis, I don't like to say that I'm black. I am African American, but I'm not black. I had many black people come after me for that. That apparently is a club exclusive for them. They want to not, they want to be oppressed. They don't want anybody else in that club but them. Okay, I'll pay for you. Send me your sizes. I'll send you a gift to wear live and say it's from. Oh, I would love it. Send me a private message. If any of you want to send me anything, you know, contact me privately. I'll promote it. You know, anytime somebody sends me something, I make sure I open it and I display it. And, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm there for people. I am. I'm, I'm there for others. Oh, somebody's a foreigner and they're riding in some kind of, I don't know. I'm, it looks Swedish or something like that. I can't tell. Do you sell panties? No, dubby dub. I can't sell my panties. I have very few pairs and they're very, they're just hanging on by a thread. Basically the crotches are completely eaten out of it. So I have to wear like a really big Kotex pad and it catches my anal leakage. But yeah, I, I really need to think about buying some new underwear late, um, you know, soon. Can you watch us on TV and smoke some herb? Oh, really? Do a shimmy for us. That's what somebody, someone on her YouTube said. She just read the comment. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> Can you clarify your statement on black people? Well, what didn't you understand, Tracy? I want I really want it to be clear. I would love to clarify for you. People of color get thousands of dollars a year from taxes. Plenty of money to pay for cable and internet and phones for a year. Do we have any tattoos we can see? I have this one. It's, it's an ex-girlfriend's name. Can you describe the smell of the toot, please? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It didn't smell good. It was very like sewage. It smelled like sewage. Does your house smell like? What is your? It's like, oh, Adam and Dale's butt smell. Well, I mean, they're, they're you know, I'll tell you, when you're as sexually active as, as Adam and Dale, and, and, you know, you do it in that, the bottom, and especially if you use traffic cones and fists, it's going to smell like poop in your house. It just will. Can you clarify that you're only chair-bound because you love the government's funding or food? Oh, I'm not chair-bound, Jamie. No, I have a walker. I have a walker, and I use a mobility scooter when I can't walk. I just have to say I love your hair. Oh, thank you so much. That's sweet. You love my hair. What's on your boobs? It's baloney because I want big baloney nipples. I like the big, thick areolas. Do you throw away the bologna or eat it afterwards? No, because there's adhesive behind it. I can't eat it. Yes, Steve, bologna on my chest. It, it's this is really it. It's my areolas identify as bigger than what they are, so I go ahead and I put the bigger the bologna on it to make my areolas bigger. You're probably getting. Oh, I do get a check, Angela. I do. 
No, I'll, I'm proud of it. I'll tell you. I do get a, I get a disability check. Yeah, every month. Ain't nothing wrong with blending meat patties on the nips. Hello from the UK. How long have I have they been there? Um, pretty much all morning. If you want to be a lady, LOL, or whatever, put a top on. Um, Brooke, excuse me, but if men can go topless, so can women. I'm a feminist, okay? And I fully believe that women should go topless. There's no reason why I can't. And I, I'm surprised to hear that from another woman. I really am. My penis identifies as bigger than what it is. Well, Adam, it can identify all at once, but it's not a traffic cone, and, and Adam needs a traffic cone, okay? Or Dale needs a traffic cone. I'm getting confused by you guys. I'm sure if you put it on a sandwich, the adhesive would taste... Oh, so where are you getting this, that black people want to be oppressed? Well, because they laugh when I, because they tell me that I'm not 2% African. Okay. Because I don't, they don't want me in their club. You can still identify all you want, but you're still a male. Um, Houston, I didn't say identify as a woman. I said I am a woman. That's the thing. I don't identify as anything. I am a woman. Hogatha is Catholic confirmed. Hoggy, Scott and I went to Adam and Dale's and it really does smell like butt and willy farts. Yeah, of course, every gay man's house does. Oh, thank you, Andy. Pop, why are people so mean to you? I don't know, Christy. You know, I'm a very uplifting person. I care about people of color. And I don't understand why people are hating on me. I love your lives, Hoggy. You're an inspiration. I bet there's smaller bologna slices underneath the big ones. What happened with Terrence? I don't know why. He's attacking me. He's a black man and I can't, I'm not going to judge him. I'm not racist. Why do you make yourself a clown? Jung? Jung Hadu. Why do I make myself a clown? First of all, sweetheart, I'm dressed up for Easter. I'm wearing the Easter glasses and the bunny ears, okay? I'm wearing my rainbow wig because I'm prideful in my, in my lesbianism, okay? And I'm wearing blue lipstick. You think that that's a clown? Okay. <sighs> Machete says, Hogathy, you're not a woman or black. I never said I was black. I never said I was black. Just because you're racist and you think African Americans are black, it that that's that's on you, okay? Because there are plenty of African Americans that that aren't black. Do you wash under your neck when you take a shower? Yes, I do. I shower once a week, though. No, I'm not a bunny, Jack. I'm just dressed up as the Easter Bunny. I'm a person of color. My rosacea is red. My balls are brown. My skin is patchy because of psoriasis. My eyes are blue. My toenails are yellow. Well, you got a lot of colors going on there, don't you? All we have to see is that I don't belong to you and you don't belong to me. Yeah, yeah, freedom. I won't let you down. I will not give you up. Gotta have some faith in the sound. It's the one good thing that I've got. I won't let you down, so please don't give me up, cause I would really, really love 
stick around. Heaven knows we sure had some fun, boy. Buddy and me. We had every big shot, good time band on the run for, and we were living in a fancy. I'm done singing that song. Um, she's a woman. Oh yeah, my twins. You got my twins, huh? Yeah, the girls. I got my girls. It cosmetic. Yeah, I'm wear, I'm using. I'm really using wig glue. I'm using wig glue. Oh, yeah, meat and princess. I'm eating princes. Would you like one? What's a prince? I don't know what a prince is. Hoggy, what's for dinner? Meatball sandwiches. Hoggatha, I heard that you had a, I had an ASMR channel on Pornhub. I don't know what the, what's ASMR? I've heard of that before. You are what's wrong with the world. Why would you say that to me? Oh, you're talking to somebody else. Are you a mom? No, Ashley. I don't have a uterus, so I can't bear children. Hagatha, can you recommend toys that really get the bean tickled? Andy, I don't have a bean. Well, I do, but it's different than yours. Mine's recessed in a fupa. Yours is just folded up with some deli meat. Um, let me think. How would you... What are some tips? Some um, Now, I don't know if you would go this far, but this is what I've heard, and I'm not saying to do this, and I'm, a, I'm an animal rights activist, okay? So I've heard that the rough tongue of a cat really does it, okay? And I know lesbians who will put a little bit of the cat food down there, okay? Because a cat, they're relentless. They'll just dig in, okay? They'll go for it. I don't know if you'll do that or not. But but you only do it, but you don't force the cat, okay? You just put the food there and you let you just sit there. Maybe have your legs open and watch TV and see if the cat will go for it. But don't force the cat because that's rape. Okay. Um, hello. Chinaman, I want or low pan, I want you to know I got your card and I sent it earlier, and now I'm seeing you here live. I appreciate your Easter card for me and Marquina. That was very thoughtful and very nice of you. Thank you so much. It was a big surprise. I usually know when something's coming. And when I opened up the P.O. box, I felt that envelope. And I looked at it. I went, Marquina, look what Lopan did. What a sweet person. Wow, you really went down here after Doll Billy Madison. I never saw that movie. I know it's an Adam. Is it Sandler? It's an Adam Sandler movie. He kind of plays the same character all the time, too. That's why you don't see him in movies anymore. So he plays the same person. Is that where Peaches went? Last time you were in a circle at your lesbian prayer circle, Peaches was engulfed in a vag. Oh, Lord, I hope not. Well, see, the thing is, Peaches... Well, Peaches may be trans, but Peaches is, is, how can I put it? Peaches is not a lesbian, okay? Peaches is a trans cat, but still likes, but likes boys. So I couldn't imagine her getting near a woman's vag. Um, why have I never laid eyes on Marquina? Because you obviously haven't looked at my profile. I have pictures of Marquina up. Did you re retreat? Yes, I have my my tarot cards, Debbie. I do have them. Okay, and it'll probably be like in the in the week. It probably in the week the next week I'll be using them. I you know I got to practice again. I got to open up the channel with the spirits and stuff. My favorite food. I like Mexican food. Yeah, I have pictures of Marquina on my Facebook page. How do you make money off this? I'm confused. For your purpose of all this, Brittany, it's because, you know, I I'm trying to share my life with people. Brittany, I originally started because my therapist said, Hogatha, you need to get out there and make yourself vulnerable and make friends and meet people. So that's why I did it. And then I just all of a sudden made so many friends on here. And I'm like, wow. And people really like me. 
And I do make money. I sell t-shirts and I also sell personalized videos. So if you want me to make a video for your mom, you know, I don't know, maybe her vagina stinks or something. I can make a video telling her that for you. Okay. Any, anything, you know. You know what? I really like that John 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 Wilkins said. John Wilkins said, "How dare you ask Hagatha what her favorite food is? It's fat shaming." And it really is because I think you might only be asking me that because I'm obese. And I people typically only ask obese people that. So I can't help but notice maybe you were body shaming me. Great Mexican restaurant here, run by two brothers, Jose and Jose B. Um, you'd pay for a video? Would you, Andrew Greco, would you? They're $25. And what I do is I spend maybe two to five minutes talking to the person, the victim. And what happens is, I need a reading t-shirt. Um, I could post a link to my t-shirts, but you would send me a private message with the link of the person that the video is about. So what I do is I go and I look at their video, right? I look at their, their page and I look at pictures of them and their likes and dislikes and their job. And I make, I don't want to, I don't want to say I make judgments about them. I make observations about them. Okay? I make observations about the victim. And then I say some things in the way you want it to come across on the video. Some people want a sexy video and some want it flirtatious. Some want it to be just absolutely rude and crude. Um, but, you know, I'm just a working girl. You know, so you tell me what you want and I make it. You know? And um, there's people who pay me to do it. Then they'll pay me uh, to get somebody back. Or there's, I have a lot going on with that. A lot of people pay for this and they really like it. And then they, um, then other people, they, 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 uh, what's the word? Recommend me. And then their family and friends will ask me to do a video too. Is that baloney? That's being wasteful. Jeremy, no, because I'm going to give it to the dog afterwards. The dog will eat it. Okay. Hoggy, my cousin Dan Dan is trans. How would you encourage her coming out as an African American from the UK? Thanks. Oh my goodness. Hoggy, my cousin Dan Dan. So it's a trans lady? It was 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 he a man and then become a woman? And he's African American? But from the UK. How can you be African-American and be from the UK? That's what I want to know. So you're a working man. Um, Brooke, I'm a lady and I'm a disabled lady. And I actually, I make money. See, this is the thing. I make my money because Marquina, my wife, is also disabled and she's unemployed. But she drinks Colt 45 or Old English and she smokes Newport cigarettes. So I make the money because she's a person of color and I take that money and I buy her her beer and her cigarettes. Because she is an oppressed black lady. You can't give it to your dog. That's animal cruelty. Well, I let the dog decide, Jamie. If the dog wants to eat it. She'll eat it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. Okay. I give her the option. Christy P. I'm a nurse taking a break to watch you. Oh, really, Christy? You know what? Wait a minute, Christy. You're a nurse? I certainly hope that we're not getting coronavirus through the computer. If you're a nurse, certainly you're around it, aren't you? I hope you sanitized your fingers before you started typing. Hoggy, my cousin Dan Dan is also called Avon because like an old Avon catalog, she scratches and sniffs. Oh, my internal storage is dangerously low. I don't understand why my phone does that. It's like I go and I erase so many files from my phone that it will always say, oh, you're dangerously full. 
How long have you been, you, your lady been together? We've been together seven years. Oh, you're around it, unfortunately. Really, Christy? That's terrible. I'm sorry. I hope you stay safe. Hoggy, tell us how you're social distancing these days. I social distance all the time. And, and this is the thing, you guys, and I've explained it before, and sometimes I sound like a broken record, but I can't catch coronavirus. I can't. Like I've explained before, I used to, in my young days, you know, and there were times I did sleep with men, okay? I slept with men, and I was a big slut. This was in the 90s. I was a big whore, and I got many venereal diseases. So I was in the clinic all the time getting shots of antibiotics. That ever since the 90s, I haven't even had a cold because I'm just, I think I'm protected from everything now. Because nobody wants to be around you. Um, excuse me, a lot of people want to be around me. Oh, Christy, um, Adam is 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 a nurse from the UK. Lopan says, I think they tell you the memory is dangerously low to make people have a panic attack. I think so. Hagatha, you're the reason we have the coronavirus. Put a mask on your face and stop judging us to the virus. Machete, I've already explained to you. I can't get it. Trust me, I can't. I'm so I'm filled with many chemicals. I just seen you for the first time and love you. Oh well, thank you, Ashley. You look like caught something else. Well, hopefully I catch gorgeousness. I would love that. Coggy, how do you usually deal with people saying nasty things about you? Doesn't seem to affect you as much. Danielle, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a cutter. On top of every, everything else, I'm a cutter. And that's the only way I could deal with the emotion. Um, my legs, in certain parts of my legs, I have cuts all over them. That's just how I deal with it. And I let the pain bleed out. Oh, you don't have to worry about sanitizing. You can soak them in cider. I'm very angry how no one is talking about trans bathroom rights right now. John, thank you so much. You, you guys, I want you to think about this. Ever since this whole coronavirus thing, have you ever noticed they don't talk about trans rights anymore? They don't talk about bathrooms. And they don't talk about the children at the border who are being killed. There are children at the border being slaughtered right now by Donald Trump. Okay? Nobody talks about it anymore. Why is that? They don't talk about undocumented workers coming over here. They don't talk about the caravans. How come? How come these people don't get attention? I'll tell you why, because they're brown. Okay, guys, I've been here for two hours. I got to go. If you guys, you know what? I'm going to post my t-shirt link again. You guys want that. It's a very popular item. I'm going to make another one too. I might make a vegan a make a vegan fluid one. Okay, I'll do that. But I'm going to send you the link to my t-shirt. You know what? And like I said, that really helps me buy um the Colt 45 and the um the Colt 45 and the Newports from Marquina. Cuz you know they're they're cultural needs for her. They really are. Um, so what I'm going to do is at five o'clock, I have my interview. Then after that, I'll make videos. Okay. So if anybody wants a video, please, you know, maybe in the very beginning of the video of the, the message, write video and cap so I could see it and, and I can, I can access it right away. Um, anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Probably next week sometime. But um, not tomorrow, you know, because tomorrow I'm going to be I'm going to be hiding Easter eggs and stuff for the kids. Neighborhood kids are coming over here. We're all wearing masks and I'm, we're going to color eggs and I'm going to be the bunny. This is how I'm going to look. And I'm going to be there while they all look for the eggs. OK. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.